Welcome back to the Kyle Olson Show. Regardless of what happens with the outcome of the 2020 election, President Trump, I believe, has forged a new conservative coalition unlike any other president in our lifetime, maybe with the exception of President Reagan. Joining me now to discuss that more and what he would like to do to continue the work of expanding the Republican Party is Brandon Bryce. He lives on Detroit's west side, is a host on the 910 AM Superstation, and is running for the Michigan Republican Party uh, Outreach Vice Chair. So, Brandon, thanks for being here. Kyle, thank you for having me. So what does the Republican Party need to do to really break through in places like Detroit and Flint? You know, let's let's look at this, uh, Kyle. Uh, The last election, Donald Trump, uh, ironically, actually won Wayne County. He lost Detroit, but he won Wayne County. Now, the question is, how did this president win Wayne County when multiple presidents prior to him did not win Wayne County? You know why? Because he had a message that went directly to the common man. Uh, You know, Michigan is a blue collar town. You and I both know that. And so the question is, we've got to ask, is our party talking to the common man or the country club? Uh, I think Donald Trump had a a great strategy, if you want to talk about uh, just politics, because not only did he go to the common man, but he addressed the issues that common men and common people care about. That's Mm -hmm. their jobs. Uh, That's getting people back to work. Uh, That's uh, 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 making sure that families and kids get a quality education. That's what we need to be about because we've always been on the right side. And I I always say this, Kyle, uh, we are our message. Republicans, we have the message. Uh, The opposition has the market. So we got to do better and we'll see better. So how does the Republican Party do better marketing? Well, first of all, we need to uh, put credible people in in the right roles. Uh, That's the first thing. Second thing is, uh, we can't uh, we can't wait for folks to come to us. We got to go to them, uh, and then we've got to be very strategic in terms of uh, looking at what are the things that we believe in. We believe in hard work, and so we need to start having conversations with the labor community. Uh, that in many cases they understand the power of business. Uh, we need to start looking at uh, talking to single moms when it comes to education reform, because the reality is, and for some, for unfortunately, for so many across the state. Education is their path uh, to success, and it's also their path out of poverty. And then also, uh, we need to start looking at the diversity across our state. We have one of the largest Arab American and Hispanic communities. And so the question is, are we going to them and talking to them about what Reagan said, that shining uh, a city on the hill? It's, you know, I'm proud to be an American. I know you are, Kyle. And so we need to push that and get them involved, bring them into the fold, and let them be our advocates not our, not, not, not necessarily just us. Tell me a little bit about what shaped your worldview and what makes you a conservative and a Republican. You know, you know, Kyle, I came into the party when I was 18 years old, I went to Howard university in DC, a historically black college. Um, and literally got wanted, wanted to get a job on Capitol Hill. Uh, couldn't get a job in on the Democrat side because I didn't know anything. I was 19 and, and literally, uh, a congressman by the name of Max Burns, I'll never forget him, out of Georgia, walked up to me and he said, hey, young man, you know, you've got a nice suit. Uh, would you like to work uh, in my office? I said, sure. He didn't have an opening, but he took me down to, at that time, the speaker's office. Uh, had a, and that was my first internship. And from there, those relationships uh, bloomed. And so I got a chance to literally hear a different perspective than the side that I heard back on my college campus. And so... You know, I came into the party under the New Gingriches, the, the, the Bob Doles, the Jack Kemp's, uh, when, you know, the party really was about this big tent concept. And so I still believe that is that, you know, I don't care if you uh, are of a different uh, religion, if you're under a different ethnic group, if you're uh, if you have a, 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 a certain uh, uh, mindset or, or belief, if you believe in American values, if you believe that. In, in individual liberties. If you believe that the government needs to say the heck out of your way and do the things that they need to do, uh, then we're the party for you. And more importantly, I'm your guy. And so I think that, you know, through that message, that really is one of the reasons that, that I, I've remained a Republican for uh, probably almost 20 years now, uh, because I see the benefits of what we're talking about. Now, I'll tell you this, Kyle, uh, more, now so now more than ever, uh, I understand that this is much deeper than just about being a Republican. This is about protecting America. 
This is about making sure that our values are not wiped out in the name of uh, what, what I like to call a, a, a false sense of security when we talk about some of the COVID restrictions. Mm. I'm all about keeping people safe, Kyle, but when it's destroying businesses, when it's uh, running economies out, and when it's taking away my civil liberties, we got a different story to deal with. Interesting. How, how, what grade would you give the Michigan Republican Party for addressing what you just said? Because it seems to me we get a lot of anger, we get a lot of uh, disappointment, a lot of frustration, but when it comes to actually fighting Gretchen Whitmer, fighting her orders, um, I'm not exactly sure what's happening. So how, how would you rate the Republican Party? Well, I'll say this. When it comes to uh, our values uh, and promoting those, those values across the state, I give us a B. Uh, but when it comes to recognizing that just as the world is changing, Michigan is changing, when it comes to making sure that we're responsible in shaping the narrative, when it comes to making sure that we have a, a voice at the table, even if they don't want us there, uh, let's just say I wouldn't give you an A or a B or and maybe not even a C. And so we've got to do better. And how do we do better? We do better by electing and, and putting in the right people to do the job. All of this, you know, uh, the same few people talking about the narrative, it's time to move on. It's time to grow that tent. It's time to increase the size of that tent. It's time to go out and recruit people in their communities, whether you're in the UP, whether you're on the west side of the state, whether you're on the east side of the state, we need your voice. And when I become the, the next Michigan a GOP outreach vice chair. I'm coming to your door and I'm coming to a neighborhood near you. So when you're in that position, what is your agenda? Well, the first thing is, uh, one thing I want to do is I want to create a speaker's bureau. So I want to get folks uh, who, whether they, if they're writers, I want you because we need you to write in the publications. If you are uh, someone who, uh, I find many people who said, you know, if I just had an opportunity to get on TV, uh, I could tell our stories of what's going on in our state or in, or in our communities. I mean, I want to be able to plug people uh, to do those interviews and, and to help promote their voice. It's not about me. It's about promoting people like you, Kyle, and and the, and the, the, the and giving a second uh, perspective on a narrative that you and I both know is biased. Mm -hmm. And then also, Kyle, one of the things I want to do, we, we spend so much time on state and federal races, which is important. But what about the city and county races? And so I want to give those folks a voice too. Uh, as you know, one thing Tip O'Neill said that I actually do agree with is all politics is local. He's absolutely right. And so we've got to get back into once again, the narrative of the common man. And then last but not least, uh, I want to create an opportunity where we're looking at uh, the various type of communities and promoting their voice, the Arab American community, the Hispanic community. Uh, I'll go a, a step further and say, we've got to get strategic to say even some of the uh, 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 certain groups uh, that may not necessarily appear to be a uh, traditional Republican. Many of them came out for Trump. I want those lists. I want those folks to give their voice. How can people help you? Well, if you are a delegate, tell the folks, you know, and I, I go by the, my little slogan, uh, uh, the Bryce is right, you know, and so, <laughs> and so uh, tell folks, uh, you know, if, if you're, if you got delegates, tell them vote for Bryce. Uh, if you want change, tell them vote for Brights. If you want to contribute, uh, uh, there's uh, I can provide an opportunity for you to send send some money, and send some checks. I mean, I mean, the bottom line is we've got to win this election because this is an election where we can't afford to lose and, and, and not get it right. And my voice is your voice. And so I want to make sure that we're giving people the opportunity uh, to promote, as I say, Michigan's voices. Uh, spread the word. That's the name. You know, February 6th is the convention. I need all delegates. Uh, congressmen, uh, state reps to support Brandon Bryce for outreach vice chair so that we can bring our voice back to Lansing and bring our voice across uh, the state of Michigan. And your website is brandonbryce.com. Now you've got a radio show on 9, 10 a.m., the Superstation. Uh, tell me briefly about that. I do. So it's called Straight Talk, and I think that describes what I do. I'm a straight shooter. Uh, I like to talk. And, and you know, one of the things is because I've heard questions from people say, well, you know, how much time have you spent working in the party? I, for the last five years, have given Republicans a voice uh, in places that necessarily may not have acquired that voice. And so I want to not only give Republicans that I've dealt with uh, more of a voice, but I want to give Republicans across the state a voice. And I've done that on my show. Uh, we're on the 9 a.m. Superstation. We've interviewed 
uh, you know, folks from uh, uh, all the way from uh, uh, former White House uh, Press Secretary Sean Spicer, uh, all to, you know, we've even, uh, you know, people, some folks as far as uh, Uncle Luke, you know, in, in Miami, who ironically is actually conservative. And so what I want to do is I want to give conservatives in America a real voice. Uh, and, and that requires, Kyle, like you know, some out-of-the-box thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brandon Bryce, uh, good luck to you, and thanks for joining me today. Thank you. This is my final episode of the year, and I appreciate you taking the time to listen. I wanted to leave you with this as we look to a new year. This is from F. Scott Fitzgerald. For what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case too early, to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. Start whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. You can make the best or the worst of it. I hope you make the best of it. I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things that you've never felt before. I hope you meet people who have a different point of view. I hope you, ha- I hope you live a life you're proud of, and if you're not, I hope you have the courage to start over again. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Here's a moment to start over again. Thank you so much for joining me today and this year. For more of my work, go to Breitbart.com or find me on Parlor Kyle Olson 4. Kyle Olson 4. K-Y-L-E-O-L-S-O-N and the number 4. For this episode and others, visit thekyleolsonshow.com. The Kyle Olson Show.com. This is the Kyle Olson Show. <laughs>